All right, calling all insect enthusiasts. <laughs> this weekend, there's a free event that includes meet and greets with live insects, six-legged snacks, and creepy crawly games. <sighs> Shane Wells joins us with a preview of the great Minsex show at the U of M. We are getting buggy this morning at the Department of Entomology at the University of Minnesota as we get ready for the great Minsex show, which is happening Saturday. We have Professor Steve Kells with us. You can tell us a little bit more about this show. Third year running, why do you offer this? Why do you want to expose people to bugs? We want to get people excited about insects and uh, and showing the diversity and the, the, the different types of insects that are around and the different things that uh, have affected humans over the years with uh, about insects. Um, and then also we want to show that insects are very useful as food items um, and they're very colorful and they have behaviors that are fascinating. So yeah. Like this one. This like is, this you said one. this is one of your favorites. This is the, uh, yes, this is the Madagascar hissing cockroach. I don't know whether it'll hiss anymore. Hissed multiple times. It's hissed when multiple times. When it yes, yes. Right now it's just looking pretty cozy and comfy. Yes. And these are not something that you necessarily find here. No, no, okay. uh, except in, uh, in, except either in collections or in people's uh, yeah, um, homes as pets. Sure. Okay. And then this guy right here. Oh, it, people might be worried if they're watching right now. Oh. They don't need to be worried about no, this No, they don't beetle. need to be worried about this What's beetle. What's going on here? This is a death-feigning beetle. It pretends to be uh, dead when it's uh, when it's when the predator is around. Um, it'll it'll flip over on its back and it'll just stay s silent and calm for for a period of time. I've seen them stay like that for up to 15 minutes. <laughs> it was the camera. <laughs> yeah. It was the camera. I was like, nah, not today. Yeah. Oh, look who's come back to life. Professor Sujaya Rao is with us, uh, department head here. Can tell us a little bit more about your specialty as our friend flips back around here, and that is edible food or edible insects. Right. Insects as food. I am now promoting entomophagy, which is the consumption of insects as food by humans. And there's a number of reasons we're doing this for. Uh, they're high in protein, and so they're healthy. They also have a lot of supplements, lots of uh, omega-3s, fatty acids, all the good stuff. Uh, the chitin, that outer covering in the insect, is also good for probiotic bacteria in the gut. And then when we think about diseases, some of the questions we get is, you know, what about diseases? Well, first, we're not using insects that we're just collecting in the lab. We're actually using insects that are reared in really very clean, sanitary conditions, fed on organic food, and so they are safe to eat. And uh, some people don't like to see the actual insect in yeah, their like what's food. That? Though kids love that. So that's basically crickets that have been dried and then mixed with, you know, seeds. So that's just like a trail mix. And if people don't like that, then we have brownies, <laughs> which are pretty much made with cricket flour. If you want to check out the Great Men's Sex Show, it is happening Saturday from 10 to 3 at the St. Paul Student Center North Star Ballroom. And you can learn more at entomology.umn.edu. Back to you. Mmm, thank you Shane. <laughs>